Welcome dear viewers, after hinting some fees may additionally be dropped in the overseas lobbying trial of longtime Donald Trump ally Tom Barrick, a federal choose on Tuesday is permitting the costs to stand, and the case might also quickly go to the jury. Before proceeding with this video, please hit the subscription button and notification bell to get latest updates from us. U.S. District Judge Brian Cogan indicated in court docket on Monday that he was once thinning some matters out and thinking about now on not letting some counts in opposition to Barrick and co-defendant and former assistant Matthew Grimes go to the jury. But ultimately, Cogan did now not disregard any counts. The jury is anticipated to start deliberations on Wednesday. Instead, Kogan restrained prosecutors from telling jurors they may want to discover Grimes responsible of performing as an unregistered overseas agent if they sincerely felt there was one solely ample proof that he aided and abetted any individual else. Kogan had stated some of the authorities' theories had been right on the line between barely permissible interference and impermissible speculation. During closing arguments Tuesday, a prosecutor painted Barrick as a duplicitous businessman who was once privately providing Emirati officers his get right of entry to, to the Trump marketing campaign and administration. In return, prosecutors said he acquired thousands of thousands and thousands of greenbacks and in investments in his company. Mr. Barrick offered the UAE on his political connections, stated assistant U.S. legal professional Ryan Harris. Barrick, Grimes and an Emirati businessman named Rashid Al-Malik have been indicted remaining 12 months and accused of appearing as a secret backchannel for the United Arab Emirates. Prosecutors allege that Al-Malik was once secretly running in the U.S. as a UAE authorities agent. Al-Malik fled the U.S. rapidly after he used to be interviewed via the FBI in 2018 and stays at large. There are two Tom Barracks. A man who talks about weaving an internet of tolerance and perception and the man he surely is when the cameras are off and no one is staring at and the facade is stripped away. A man finally simply leveraging his get right of entry to with the Trump marketing campaign and the Trump administration to make cash and wield power Harris said. Barrick's legal professional answered through calling the overseas lobbying case balderdash. Defense legal professional Randall Jackson in contrast his purchaser to Japanese Americans who had been stored in internment camps throughout World War II by means of the U.S. authorities, out of concern they would now not be loyal to the U.S. It used to be completed below the idea that these human beings ought to possibly, maybe, be engaged in some thing like espionage, or that they may want to be possibly, maybe, be concerned to the course and manage of the Japanese government Jackson said. Jackson stated that Barrick made no effort to conceal his relationship with Al Malik and that he even disclosed conferences with him on an alleged authorities structure when he was once being viewed for an authorities position. He's Instagram legit with him, Jackson said. At no factor is he making an attempt to cover the relationship with him. There's no proof to guide the concept they've come up with, Jackson said. Barrick, who took the stand for almost a week to testify in his defense, denied that he supplied his get right of entry to to influential humans in the U.S. to Emirati officials, and pointed out that he advised Trump, whilst he was once president now not to assist a 2017 blockade towards Qatar, an opinion that would now not have been in the first-class pastime of the UAE at the time. I, in no way did something wrong he testified. Harris alleged that UAE-controlled sovereign wealth money poured $374 million into Colony Capital, Barrick's company, the place Grimes additionally labored and earned between $400,000 and $600,000 a year. And in return, the UAE unlocked its purse strings for the defendants, Harris said. After now not receiving a dime from these sovereign wealth funds, no longer a penny from these sovereign wealth funds, in the eight years beforehand. Both Barrick and Grimes, every face one count number of performing as an unregistered agent of overseas authorities, and one depend of conspiracy to act as an unregistered agent of overseas government. Barrick additionally faces one matter of obstruction of justice and four counts of making false statements. I and his closing, Ab Lowell, and lawyer for Grimes, stated prosecutors confirmed no proof that Grimes made in settlement with a UAE respectable to work as a overseas agent. What is your take on this intriguing video? Please drop your comments below and thanks.